there this is anoop today we are going to talk about providing least privilege access or read only access for some of the admins who wanted to have message center access so that they can check the alerts coming from microsoft and communicate with other teams etc or you can automate that process in this presentation and demo we are going to cover the best practices to have global admin accounts and what are the things you need to take care when you have global admin account such as mfa how many global admin accounts you should have all those things we are going to cover in this presentation and demo also we will see different options to assign permissions for global reader and message sender reader roles you can have more granularity in azure active directory and the easiest method to provide access with less granularity is microsoft 365 admin sender we will see all these things so don't skip it let's go ahead and watch it out let's look into global or message sender reader permissions how to assign them global read only admins how to provide global reader permission and what are the different options and what are the things you need to kind of take care while providing this kind of permissions let's go to the next slide so have you seen any of the issues like this permission issues when you try to log into admin.microsoft.com or when you try to access some alert messages from microsoft have you seen any errors like this your account does not have permission to view or manage this page microsoft admin sender so in this video we are going to talk about this and we are going to talk about appropriate permissions for message sender reader and global reader how to provide appropriate permissions for particular users now let's go to the next slide microsoft 365 admin account or azure admin account or global admin account you should not provide global admin access to lot of admins it should be four or five admins at minimum you should give access to global admin and there are a lot of recommendations that microsoft provided for global admin roles you can get more details in the description of the video and another important recommendation that microsoft provides is enable mfa for global admins first of all reduce the number of global admins in your organization to 2 to 4 other admin users should have only least permissive roles depending on their role in your organization now well, let's go to the next slide now let's check what is global reader and what are the accesses that particular role has global reader basically provides a read only access to all the admin features and settings in admin center what does that mean the global reader cannot change anything but it can view all the things all the settings all the admin features etc all the configurations in your tenant maybe an auditor might require this or if there is a trainee or new joinee in your organization maybe that particular person should have access to this initially until he completes the appropriate trainings in this table you would be able to see the comparison between global admin and global reader global reader has read permissions and all these things but global admin will have permissions to create distribution groups mail enable security groups security groups m365 groups etc let's go to the next slide now let's look into message sender reader so for example if you get a message you got a mail alert from microsoft stating okay this intune stuff is down or teams is not working there's a service issue and in that email communication there will be a link and if you want to access that link then you should have message sender reader permission monitor message sender notifications get weekly email digests of message sender posts and updates share message sender posts read only access to users and groups these are the permissions message sender reader will get so this is necessary to check the alerts notification etc from microsoft 
let's go to the next slide what are the different options to provide global reader role or message sender reader role there are two options one you can provide it from azure portal go to azure active directory and you can provide more granular control from there and the next option is microsoft 365 admin center you can go to microsoft 365 admin center and provide access from there this is the easiest option because it is just a check mark and over here you will have more granular options now let's look into the demo and understand how this works this is where i try to log in from my read only account and trying to check out this alert what is this alert mc527921 and it says i don't have access but when i log into azure portal with this account i can see different things i can go to azure active direct searching for my account over here if i go to assign roles in my read only account it is still searching let's check eligible assignments okay i can see eligible assignment yes global reader permission is already given and it's a permanent permission now i need to activate it i cannot activate it from here as a user there should be a admin action over here admin should activate it so we will see that from azure portal if i go and open see for this user i logged in from the admin account now and for this user read only user active assignments there's no active assignment eligible assignment yes there is a eligible assignment you can see update option over there click on update option and then change it to active and over here you need to provide a justification a proper justification is recommended for this demo i'm just providing test and click on save button it is now activating the permission global reader role is activated for a new read only account if i go back over here and refresh this page you can see active assignments is now global reader permissions for this user this is logged in from that read only user okay that means i already got access as a global reader now i can check all the settings in active directory and check whatever i want but i only have a read only access i don't have any permission to edit it going to refresh this admin.microsoft.com and going to check what is happening over here see i can see all the details i can go to security complaints endpoint manager all the access is there so i am able to access security etc etc dashboard everything i can access from here global reader has all the access all the permissions but read only permissions now let's try to do something let's go back to the admin user over here and then try to remove remove this assignment from active assignments remove it yes I removed it now removing the assignment if duration is minimum 5 minutes required okay fine so let's wait for 5 minutes and then see what is happening now let's try to remove the active assignment from here active assignment for read only user remove it let's try to do that and let's confirm that yes i want to remove it let's see does allowing me to change it or not yes i think now i'm able to remove the active assignment okay that's good now let's give a refresh and check whether the read only account has any permissions or not still there it is still active okay that's gone now now what you can do is let's go back let's refresh and check what is happening hmm, i think i need to log off sign out sign in back okay let's sign in enter the password click on sign in and click on yes let's check what is happening the permissions are gone after removing the global reader role from azure active directory and then i logged off and logged in back now let's go back azure portal with admin account this is the admin account and add a different role over here try to add message sender role how to do that go to assign roles over here and then click on this add assignment button select role there will be lot of drop down options over here so search for message sender so this is the role i want to try now so i have selected the role as message sender scope is directory automatically selected and this is the user now there is a important 
settings over here settings click on that setting tab these are two important options assignment type eligible active if you if you make it eligible you need to go ahead and activate it as we have seen previously if you directly activate it the permission will be directly assigned that is why i said azure active directory has this granularity you can make it eligible but to convert from eligible to active admin permission is required another admin approval is required as we have seen a few minutes before but if you make it active you need to provide the justification as we did last time when we changed from eligible to active once the status is active then only the actual permission will be given to this read only account so in this case i'm just directly activating the account because we have already seen what is eligible how we can make it eligible etc etc once you are fine with all these settings then you can click on assign this is a permanent assignment there's no time limit but if you want you can set a time limit something like this start time end time etc etc you can remove this and you can say okay this is the start time this is the end time and then assign it that is also a good security practice so for my lab testing purpose i'm going to use this permanent assignment and justification i'm just going to say test and click on assign that means now the message sender role has been assigned to this user it is assigned now as you can see over here now let's go back to the user read only user over here and try to refresh need to sign out and close it again okay now i need to enter the username and password username and password click on sign in and click on yes now let's see the message is there or not now see the the options are very little over here if i compare with global reader permission so this is message sender and in message sender i can see only health and message sender directory synchronization software updates these are the things i can see i can see these kind of alerts from here message sender reader has only this permission to read the messages from message sender that was that was the option now let's go back to admin account and let's open this one now we are going to show the second option from here admin.microsoft.com and from there how to assign a role to a user so i'm going to search for the same user search this is the user and if i go somewhere here roles over here and if i click on manage roles you would be able to see the permissions which we assigned from azure active directory over here so if i want to remove this and add global reader you can directly do that over here there's no granularity as we have seen in the azure portal there's no option to have a time limit option permanent activation option assignment options etc etc those kind of granularity is not here so this is the simplest method to provide access global reader or message sender or any other access quickly to to admins but if you want to have more granularity and more control and more best practice as per the best practice i would suggest to go with azure portal rather than microsoft microsoft 365 admin center if i click on save that means now this particular user read only user has global reader access and it is already activated so you don't need to separately activate it as we have seen in the azure portal that is straightforward and pretty easy as per the security practice probably this is not the best option now that you have seen all the details in the video let's have a quick recap to assign permissions i would always recommend to go with azure active directory option so that you will get lot of granularity and you have different assignment types eligible active eligible is the default option and then admin can make it active for a particular time period if you want to give some particular access to admins or you can make it permanent so lot of options are available which we have already seen in the demo
So that's why I am recommending Azure Active Directory to allocate permissions, etc. But if you want to quickly test something and quickly assign a permission to an admin, then probably Microsoft 365 Admin Center is the easiest way. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around.